Good morning, everyone. Morning. Welcome to the celebration we are offering this mass for Mary Bridget McDonald, requested by James McDonald. We also welcome all our friends watching us uh, around the globe, but especially in our nursing homes. Uh, we have got a very special visitor, Father Devasia Warrior, SDB, coming from the Salesian Missions in Northeast of India. Both of us studied together for preschool, so I'm very happy to have him here with us, a very talented priest, a professor of theology, work, work, working with uh, tribal uh, area uh, in first evangelization. So we welcome him. Let's begin the celebration in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. We gather as God's family, let us humbly acknowledge our sinfulness and ask God's pardon. We sent to heal the contrite of heart, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. You came to call sinners, Christ have mercy. Christ Lord, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth the peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God Almighty, Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us, for you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Let us pray. O God, who show the light of your truth to those who go astray, so that they may return to the right path, give all who, for the faith they profess, are accounted Christians, the grace to reject whatever is contrary to the name of Christ and to strive after all that does it honor. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Today is the 15th Sunday in Ordinary Time. The readings are on number 896 in your blue book. The first reading is a reading from the book of the prophet Amos. Amaziah, priest of Bethel, said to Amos, off with you, visionary, flee to the land of Judah. There, earn your bread by prophesying, but never again prophesy in Bethel for it is the king's sanctuary and a royal temple. Amos answered Amaziah, I was no prophet, nor have I belonged to a company of prophets. I was a shepherd and a dresser of sycamores. The Lord took me from following the flock and said to me, go, prophesy to my people Israel. This is the word of the Lord. us your salvation. 
will hear what God proclaims. The Lord, he proclaims peace. Near indeed his salvation to those who fear him. Glory dwelling in our land. Lord, let us see your kindness and grant us your Kindness and truth shall meet, justice and peace shall kiss. Truth shall spring out of the earth, and justice shall look down from heaven. Lord, let us see your kindness, and grant us your salvation. The Lord himself will give his benefits. Our land shall yield its increase. Justice shall walk before him and prepare the way of his steps. Lord, let us see your kindness and grant us your salvation. The second reading today is a reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians and to us. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has blessed us in Christ with every spiritual blessing in the heavens, as he chose us in him before the foundation of the world to be holy and without blemish before him. In love, he destined us for adoption to himself through Jesus Christ, in accordance with the favor of his will, for the praise of the glory of his grace that he granted us in the beloved. In him, we have redemption by his blood, the forgiveness of transgressions, in accord with the riches of his grace that he lavished upon us. In all wisdom and insight, he has made known to us the mystery of his will in accord with his favor that he set forth in him as a plan for the fullness of times to sum up all things in Christ in heaven and on earth. In him, we were also chosen, destined in accord with the purpose of the one who accomplishes all things according to the intention of his will, so that we might exist for the praise of his glory, we who first hoped in Christ. In him, you also, you who have heard the word of truth, the gospel of your salvation, and have believed in him, were sealed with the promised Holy Spirit, which is the first installment of our inheritance toward redemption as God's possession to the praise of his glory. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, enlighten the eyes of our hearts, that we may know the hope that belongs to our
Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Jesus summoned the twelve and began to send them out two by two and gave them authority over unclean spirits. He instructed them to take nothing for the journey but a walking stick, no food, no sack, no money in their belts. They were, however, to wear sandals, but not a second tunic. He said to them, wherever you enter a house, stay there until you leave. Whatever place does not welcome you or listen to you, leave there and shake the dust off your feet in testimony against them. So they went off and preached repentance. The 12 drove out many demons, and they anointed with oil many who were sick and cured them. The Gospel of the Lord. Grateful to Father Tom. You have a multi talented pastor here in this parish, and to this whole parish for your kind welcome and hospitality to me from Friday onwards. I was here. I am a Salesian priest working in the northeastern part of India. It's one of the Salesian missions of India. I work in a parish called Maukandeng, Mary Immaculate Conception Parish, Maukandeng, with three other Salesian priests. And we have over 9,000 Catholics spread in 16 villages of the parish. And Salesians are an order founded by Don Bosco. We are over 14,585 Salesians working in 132 countries around the world, mainly as Don Bosco wanted to work for poor, abandoned youth. And I'm here to appeal to you to help the mission work. One thing I can assure you that all the help that you give will be used for improving the quality of life of the needy people around the world. When I think of appealing to you or to any place for help, an image that comes to mind, my mind is this. We have a school in the parish center with over 1,100 students. And at noon time, there is a lunch break, tiffin break, and I see little older boys searching for some other younger boys. And they are carrying a tiffin to hand over to their younger brothers. Their parents entrusted the tiffin box of the younger ones, the younger siblings, to the hands of the elder ones so that on the way, they carry this safely to the school and at lunchtime, they would search for them and hand it over to them safely. So sometimes I used to ask this, the younger ones, is your tiffin box intact? Is anything stolen from them? And they said, no, never. The parents knew that the elder ones will faithfully hand over this tiffin to the younger ones, they trusted them. When I look at all of you, I 
and I'm sure you will also agree with me, God has blessed you immensely, as we heard in the reading from St. Paul's letter to the Ephesians. Abundance of blessings. I feel that God has entrusted the tiffin boxes of people in other parts of the world to you. And he trusts you that you will give to them at the right time faithfully without taking anything from that tiffin box which God has given to you to give to others. It's a simple image, but I feel this is uh, something that helps us to understand what it means to help the missions. The Salishian Missions Office at New Rochelle organizes this for the whole Salishian world. And whatever you s help you send, it is safe. And be sure it will be uh, reaching the right people in need. And this is true not only of the money and help that we can give, but this is true also of all other gifts and talents that God has given us. Some of you have faith that is stronger, better than others. That means God has given you an extra tiffin box of faith. And we need to help to share this with others. Some of you will be talented in, in other fields. And all these talents that God has given us is not our own, or is it not meant to be used only by us? In today's gospel, we heard how Jesus sent out the apostles two by two to different villages. And he gave them clear work, very clear work definition we find in the gospel. And all the 12, as the gospel says, went and did as Jesus had told them. To the parents who are sitting here, I, would want, I want to tell you this. You have a strong faith. You have love for the missions. Please do not forget to hand it over to your children. The faith that you have is the greatest gift that you can hand over. And I want to conclude just by reminding you of this. As we heard in the letter to the Ephesians, God has blessed us immensely with every spiritual blessing. And this is for a purpose. This is to be shared. And for us to grow in our faith, one simple thing I will ask you to do. Every day, the moment you get up, just thank God in your heart for the gift of Catholic faith that you have received. You will never waver in your faith, and your faith will grow daily. Please stand for the profession of faith. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made, for us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary, and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day, 
in accordance with the scriptures, he ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world. Amen. God's help is near for those who turn to him, so let us present our intentions to the Lord. Our response is, Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for Father Devesra, who is visiting us from northeast of India, that he is blessed in his ministry. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For young people to respond to the call of Christ to be sent out doing good through vocations to the priesthood and religious life, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the diverse people of our community cherish one another as brothers and sisters in Christ, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We remember in our prayers Mary Bridget McDonald, for whom this Mass is offered, and we remember also our beloved deceased, that they find themselves in the arms of the angels and the complete joy of God's presence, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the sick and suffering, our parish petitions, and for the petitions we hold in our hearts, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Holy God, you call us to walk in the love of your presence. Help us to share the inexhaustible riches of your goodness with those who are most in need. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. And there will be a second collection for the spiritual and corporal works of the Salesian missions. Your usual generosity is appreciated.
Almighty Father, look upon the offerings of the church, O Lord, that she makes her prayer to you, and grant that when consumed by those who believe, they may bring ever greater holiness through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Father most holy, through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your word, through whom you made all things, whom you sent as our Savior and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin, fulfilling your will and gaining for your holy people. He stretched out his hands as he endured his passion so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so with the angels and all the saints, we declare your glory as with one voice we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the founder of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it with disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink to this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Timothy, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ.
through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. The kingdom of the power and glory. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to the apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be.
We will now have our second collection for the Salesian missions. We appreciate the presence of Father Devastra here, who is a missionary among the cases. Your help will be very beneficial to the young Christian community in India. And please save the date for Saturday, September 29th. We will be having our first Dancing with our St. John Stars fundraiser. Proceeds will go toward building a bathroom in the church vestibule. Sure to be an evening to remember. Tickets can be bought in the rectory. And if you haven't registered your children for the 2018-19 year for religious education, please do so now. Forms are available in the vestibule in the front of the religious ed office or on the website. And please join us for hospitality immediately following mass down in Connolly Hall. Have a blessed day. Let us pray. Having consumed these gifts, we pray, O Lord, that by your participation in this mystery, its saving effects upon us may grow. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please say the peace prayer. O God, you are the source of life and peace. Praise be your name forever. We know it is you who turns our minds to thoughts of peace. Teach us to live as Jesus did. May we abide in faith, be confident in hope, and act in charity. May we believe in the power of this prayer. Help us to find peace within our hearts and among all nations. Amen. We thank Father Devas here for his visit among us. Uh, we ask him to carry our love and affection to his people back in the mission area. Let us give him a big round of applause. <laughs> the Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless us, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Mass is ended. Let us go in peace. Thanks, Thanks be to God. Spin!